In the previous video, we learned about dynamic routes in XJS. In this video, let's learn about nested dynamic routes. When building complex application, it is common to encounter scenarios where multiple dynamic route segments are required. Consider scenario 5. As a user, if I navigate to slash products slash 1, I should see the details for product 1. However, if I navigate to slash products slash 1, slash reviews slash 1, I should see the first review written about that product. Let's see how to achieve this with the app router. In the previous video, we already implemented the dynamic product ID route. So navigating to slash products slash 1 displays the product details about the first product. Now we need to handle slash products slash 1 slash reviews slash 1. If you've grasped the concept of file-based routing so far, this should be straightforward. When dealing with multiple path segments, the solution lies in a nested folder structure. In this case, we want reviews to be nested inside the product ID folder. To begin, create a folder within the product ID folder and name it reviews. This takes us to slash products slash product ID slash reviews. A page.tsx file within the reviews folder can display a list of reviews for a given product ID. However, we also need a dynamic review ID. So within the reviews folder, create another folder with the name enclosed in square brackets review ID. Inside this folder, create a page.tsx file and within the file, define a React component to display both the product and the review ID. If you have watched the previous video, this should be easy to understand. The component is called review detail and we return an h1 tag where we display the review ID for product followed by product ID. To extract the IDs, we destructure the params prop, which is of type object, which has two key value pairs, product ID and review ID. Now we can bind params.reviewID and params.productID. Now, if we save the file and navigate, to localhost 3000 slash products slash 1 slash reviews slash 1 in the browser, we will see the expected text. Review 1 for product 1. Navigating to product 100 and review 5 will reflect the corresponding IDs in the UI. We have successfully implemented scenario number 5. Here is a visualization of nested dynamic routes. We have the root route, products route, product ID route, reviews folder, which doesn't have a page.tsx in our case, and finally, the dynamic review ID route. The takeaway from this video is that it is possible to create nested dynamic routes by having dynamic segments in the folder names. Speaking of multiple dynamic path segments, Next.js offers another feature to handle this scenario. We will explore that in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.